الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ولا ثم ما بعد. أو نبل شيخ شيخ عبد الله عبد الرحمن ميسان. May Allah preserve him for us. Reminded us of an important matter. He had with Allah started by mentioning and saying that from the greatest matters is that Allah subhanahu wa taala gives you blessings and makes you blessed, makes you bless your, yourself and gives you blessings in everything that you have. From your wealth and your children, your food and everything that you have and your health, that this is from the greatest matters. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in regards to the statement of Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi masalam, that He said, and He made me blessed wherever I am, and this, without a doubt, is from the greatest matters. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blesses specific individuals, specific places, specific times, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned. As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in the meaning of the verse, "Glorified is He, the one who took His servant on the night journey from the sacred house to Al Masjid Al Aqsa, to the Al Aqsa Mosque, which we have blessed what is around it." And so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blesses specific places, and there is no doubt that this is something that we should seek and ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give us blessings. The mother of Anas. The Malik, may Allah be pleased with him and with her, Arumaisa, Arumaisa bint Minhan, who was one of the women who were promised the the paradise. She brought her son Anas radiyallahu anhu. She brought him to the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and she asked him to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa taala for him. And so the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa taala and asked Allah subhanahu wa taala to give him blessings in his wealth, in his uh, rather life and children. And so he, may Allah be pleased with him. He lived to the age of 120, and he saw more than a hundred of his children and grandchildren. May Allah be pleased with him. This is from the blessings of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives to the people, and for this reason, it is legislated for us to ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for blessings, to seek His blessings, Subhanahu wa Taala. For example, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned and he taught us that if one was invited. If one was invited, for example, to to eat to eat or to a meal from others, that he would ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to bless for them, to say for the person to say what is legislated is to say, may Allah bless for you in that which He has given you or that which He has provided you with, and may Allah may Allah give you mercy, may Allah give you mercy, and likewise, if one sees. If one attends and sees and meets someone who who is recently married, a groom, to supplicate to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give him blessings by way of saying, "May Allah bless bless for you, may Allah bless you and bless for you, and bring you together upon good." And likewise, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he taught us that if one drinks milk, to ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for blessings and say by saying. O oh Allah, bless for us in it, and give us more of it. And likewise, we find that it is legislated for one to supplicate to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, to ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give him blessings in his children, in his wealth, in his health, in his provision, in his house. For there is no doubt that if Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives the person blessings, then he has everything that is good. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when the companions, when the muhajirin, the immigrants, they migrated to Medina, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam made brotherhood between them and between the Ansar, the supporters, those who were the original inhabitants of of Al Medina, and the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam made brotherhood between them. And from those whom the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam made brotherhood amongst was Abd al-Rahman bin Auf and Saeed. And Saeed bin Rabi, may Allah be pleased with both of them. And Abd al-Rahman bin Auf, he asked, or rather Saeed bin Rabi, he said to him, he said to Abd al-Rahman bin Auf, and he offered to him half of his family and half of his wealth. And he said to him, may Allah bless for you, may Allah bless for you in your wealth and family. Rather, show me where the marketplace is, 
and he went to the marketplace and he worked and he traded and he became wealthy. May Allah be pleased with all of them. And so we find that he supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him blessings. And this is something that we should get used to. To ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to give us blessings and to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give our brothers and sisters and our loved, uh, our loved ones to give them blessings, to bless for them and to make them blessed. For there's no doubt that this is something that is of excellence. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned that if one supplicates to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for his brother, that there are angels who will supplicate and ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give the one who is asking the same, to give him the same. They ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give the one who asked to give him the same. And likewise, we should supplicate to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to bless for us and our children to supplicate for our children, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to bless them and make them blessed. For there's no doubt that if they become blessed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them blessing, then, then no one from the jinn or mankind can take them away and become, make them deviate and take them away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near and He answers the supplication of His servants if they supplicate to Him. So we should ask him, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us blessings and to bless for us. And if one sees something that he likes from his brother, something with his brother that he likes, and if he sees him, that he has a new vehicle, a new car, new clothes, or whatever it is, a new house, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless for him in it. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he said, why would one harm his brother by way of the, the evil eye? Rather, if one sees something that he likes with his brother, that he should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for barakah, for blessings. He should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him blessings. And there's no doubt that the harms of the eye is either an envious eye, and by way of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give, to give your brother blessings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes the envy. Or likewise, it might be a loving, it might be a caring and a loving eye that one sees something that he likes and he does not envy. But because he does not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessings, it might harm his brother. And so what is legislated for us is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessings, to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, with blessing, blessings. Because the eye that is a loving and a non-envious eye is more harmful than the envious eye. And that is because the one who is, who, the envious eye and the one who has envy, it is known, it is known and he knows that he has envy towards his brother. Whereas the loving and the caring eye, this is something that people do not notice, do not pay attention to. Perhaps one looks at something in, with his wife or his children or his brothers or his loved ones and he sees it and he likes it and is satisfied with it and makes him happy. But he forgets to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessings and he does not, does, does not supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them blessings or to bless in them and they might be harmed. They might be harmed by way of his eye. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us all blessed and to bless for us in everything that he gave us from our children and our wealth and our health and our houses and everything that He subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and to protect all of us from the envious and the harm of eye. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in.